Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Winnebago Voyage 28 SGS. It's going to be an awesome rear living floor plan, a ton of great amenities. Let's go ahead and start on the front here on the outside. We'll make our way back and then we'll head on in. So right up front, you'll notice the painted gel coat front cap. Uh, it does have a little bit of a cut back here, so you get a little greater turn radius in there, which is awesome. And right up front, you have two LED lights, so if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, it is a little bit easier to see. Let's shoot underneath. We'll take a look at the front storage compartment. Open this up for you. Look how big and open that is. I love that they, they kept this open. A lot of manufacturers will put a wall there, which separates these two compartments, but I love the fact they opened it up. Just a ton of storage up front. Uh, one other thing I like to talk about on the Winnebago, let's talk a little bit about construction. So one is gonna be the frame itself. This has an NXG frame, which is a huck bolt frame, so it's gonna have superior strength and quality. The other cool thing about huck bolt is if you are in an unfortunate accident where this takes damage, the frame can be repaired. Most of your manufacturers weld the frame, and it's kind of like a car. If that frame gets bent, a lot of times it's totally, uh, totally destroyed. But not the case on the Winnebago. They can cut out those huck bolts and replace a, a section of the frame. So that's really cool. The other big thing is just like the front cap, these sidewalls are a true poured gel coat exterior. That's why you can see the luster and shine in the side here. Uh, think of it like a boat. You see a lot of boat hauls, and you know, they can wax them, they keep that luster, they look beautiful for years to come. This is a very similar process and it'll have those same qualities and properties. So one of the uh, best exteriors on a fifth wheel in the RV industry. Let's take a look right here, uh, two 30 pound propane tanks, so you have 60 pounds of propane there, nice and convenient for you. And then we'll take a look at the pass-through, same compartment we saw up front. A couple of quick things on the side door, it does have magnetic uh, latch there, which is really cool, so it's super easy. Just push it up, you don't have to put anything breaking off, super simple. Take a look inside there, again, you can see just a ton of room. Uh, you know, you have that front door, this door, the off door, side door there, and then uh, right here is going to be your hookups for an outside TV. So if you want an outside TV, boom, there it is. The other cool thing, not only is this magnetic, it's also slam latch, and it works. Works. Look at that, super simple and easy, love it. Getting into the coach is a breeze, you have three steps here. Uh, the easy grab handle, so from the first step all the way in, you can hold on to this for that extra support. Power awning right up top. Um, it, the cool thing about this, in the fabric itself is gonna be, the, the LED light strip is gonna be sewn in. So, you know, the problems with LED lights is traditionally they're on the side of the RV where it kinda, you know, shoots out rather than down at the campsite. Or if you want it at the campsite, they put it in the barrel. And then, you know, the, the um, awning has to be rolled all the way out to be able to take advantage. Here, it, you know, after about two inches or so, they sew that in, so that way it's shining right down on the campsite and you don't have to fully extend the awning. So very cool. Underneath that are your outside speakers, marine grade speakers there. Um, those are going to be Bluetooth capable, controlled by your multimedia center inside. So if you want to sit out here, set up some chairs underneath the awning and listen to music, you can do that with a smartphone um, or, you know, tablet, other Bluetooth capable device. If you take a look underneath, you can see there you have aluminum rims. Uh, the great thing about aluminum rims, less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. Also nitrogen filled tires, so you're going to have more even tire wear, uh, better fuel economy, greater handling there as well. Also, if you look in between, you can see the uh, Equiflex suspension system. That's going to help while going down the road. It'll help take out some of those uh, bumps while you're traveling. Let's come around to the back side here. Of course, you have the bumper. Again, it's not welded on there. It's going to be huck bolted on there. And so, as I said, you know, someone smashes in, dents up your bumper, breaks it, whatever, you accidentally back into something, you can just uh, cut those huck bolts out, put in a new bumper, doesn't damage the entire frame. This is going to be your uh, ladder to climb up on the roof. It does fold up if you need to fold it up out of the way, if you need to install like a bike carrier or something. Uh, fully walkable roof on this coach. It is gonna be uh, 16 inches on center, which allows it to be fully walkable. And if you take a, look, uh, take a look at the roof, you can see it has a nice crown on it, so that way any water is not gonna sit on top, naturally runs to the sides. And then your rain gutters will take it to the front and back, so it's not gonna dump down on your campsite. Power rear stabilizer jacks right there. Uh, and then 
up front is going to be your docking station which has all your connections everything from your cable and satellite to your water hookups uh, you know uh, some of the winterization everything is going to be right up front there all right I'm just gonna wrap it up for the outside let's go take a look at the gorgeous interior welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Voyage 28 SGS this particular model is going to be in the sage interior let's start off right here in our door side slide entertainment center front and center here is going to be the Jensen 32 inch TV I like where this is located because you're able to view it from anywhere in the coach whether you're sitting at the table the couch the chairs doesn't matter also this will be connected to the Jensen multimedia center as I mentioned outside um, this is going to be Bluetooth capable so you can connect to that via smartphone or your uh, tablet and not only is this going to be a radio and CD player but also a DVD player so if you want to watch a movie go ahead and pop it in and you can easily do that storage underneath right here and then underneath that is the fireplace now you know a lot of people I talk to say oh fireplace is overkill you know you don't need a fireplace well let me tell you the thing I like about a fireplace not only does it look kind of cool but the bigger piece of it is that it is going to be a functional heater uh, and the cool thing about that is it uses electric not propane so most places that you're camping you don't have to pay for electric it's free so most of the time this is going to be free heat and it does a great job of taking the chill off in this space as well moving over uh, freestanding table right here I like the freestanding table over a booth one because the floor plan layout a booth would be really awkward uh, but the other I like having the freestanding table because it's nice and easy to slide in gives it a nicer appeal as well if you do need additional space you do have the uh, pop-up extension right here for the table to lift that up giving you the extra room if you need to do any kind of work this can double as a desk because right down here uh, in the entertainment center is going to be a plug-in so you can plug in a tablet or a laptop windows here uh, also also provide a lot of extra light which is fantastic and you have your light fixture right up top moving to the back again great windows all the way around big rear picture window which is phenomenal you have the swivel rockers here so if you have a great view out the back you can go ahead and swivel these right around and truly enjoy that uh, LED lights throughout the coach that's gonna be a big deal too the reason is if you're camping and you don't have electric hookup you're just running off the batteries you're truly going to enjoy the LED lights because they use a fraction of the power that your standard bulbs do up top here extra storage big wide doors on here as well I the reason reason I like that is if you have large items like board games or something, you can go ahead and still slip them up there. Uh, as I mentioned, swivel rockers right here, nice and comfortable, great view to the TV. In between, you have your uh, little end table there and storage right here underneath. And right up top is going to be a plug-in. So same thing, if you need to uh, charge any kind of electronic device, you can easily do that. And the off-door slide is the tri-fold sofa. The thing I like about a tri-fold, not only is it going to be extremely comfortable with a nice plush back, but also this folds out into a very comfortable bed. Uh, if you have guests that want to stay the night, they don't have to worry about a bar in the back like your traditional pullouts, or worry about waking up on a deflated air mattress. So this is the preferred type of sleeper sofa in an RV. Again, window right here, storage up top, which is great, and LED lights there too. Let's scoot down a little further here. We'll walk into the kitchen galley area. Uh, eight cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer. Go ahead and open that up. You can see all the space in there. You have a cutout here for taller items, some drawers down below. This is gonna run off both propane and electric and it's gonna have automatic switch over for you. What that means is if you're running it off propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it's gonna switch over to electric, saving you on your gas. Storage right up top, excellent storage area right there. Below is going to be your fully functional hood with a light and a fan. And then cooktop with a cover. I like the cover because it does allow for additional space. You need to set items here, you can certainly do that. You know, pull things out of the oven, set them right on top or whatever. Uh, but three burner cooktop, this front one is going to be high output. That's an Atwood cooktop there and the oven down below. Now take a look at this. Not only do you have huge storage below the oven, you also have a nice little drop down right there below the fridge. So just excellent use of this space here. Great storage. This one is nice and deep, so uh, you know, great spot for pots and pans right there. 
Uh, moving over right over here, big countertop, huge prep area. You know you have the surface here, you have this. You have plenty of room back here if you need to set some things up. Uh, great spot for a coffee maker. You know you can see you have the outlet or blender, whatever you want. Same thing here, another outlet. Double bowl stainless steel sink. You can take a look right in there. Um, high rise faucet makes it nice and easy to do dishes. Now this does come with the sink top cover, which is nice because again, it allows that to be a prep surface and it's cutting board quality. So if you want to flip it over, use it as a cutting board, you can easily do that. Up top here, this is going to be the microwave. Uh, weight of the unit, 8,460 pounds. Storage up top there, nice deep storage. And storage over to the side. Great pantry space right there, huge storage. Taking a look underneath, we'll pop this open. See that it has a um, little shelf built in for you. Great for any kind of cleaning supplies. And you have a bank of three full extension drawers right here. You shoot around to the other side. There are, uh, There is going to be an additional drawer right here. Take a look at that. So this is a very usable drawer, big drawer. The thing I like about this is it's as soon as you come in the, uh, the door. So if you need things you commonly use for outside, like uh, you know marshmallow pokers or things for s'mores, you can put them in this drawer. That way you can quickly grab them and head right back out. So I think that's a really cool drawer there. Uh, this is going to be um, your main control panel there, thermostat. And then this will walk us up into the bathroom and bedroom. So really quickly before we go into the bathroom, one of the things I like to talk about on Winnebago's is the doors themselves. Uh, the reason is, is I have yet to find a Winnebago with a bad door. A lot of the manufacturers out there, and I, I test you to try this yourself when you go, you know, try to open and close the doors. Half of them won't shut, they'll pop back open. Winnebago, you know, you close them, they close every time. It's a nice, solid connection. You know, and I know it's kind of a minor thing, but it just goes to show you the work and quality they put in their units. But enough about the doors, let's head on into the bathroom and take a look. The bathroom, the 28 SGS, has two entrances and exits, one into the main living area, the other one's going to have a slider door into the bedroom. Let's go ahead and take a look right down here. Uh, Dometic porcelain toilet, foot flush lever on there, plenty of leg room all the way around. Over to this side, uh, you have beautiful vanity, huge sink, which I really like. That way, as you're washing your hands, water's not going to splash everywhere. Brushing your teeth, nice and easy to spit your toothpaste in there, just plenty of room. Also, you have uh, additional storage underneath the sink and you have storage up top in the mirrored medicine cabinet. It's a hand towel ring right here as well as a plug-in for hair dryer or anything else you need to use. Corner Neo Angle Shower. Uh, the thing I like about the shower, one of my favorite parts is going to be the door system itself. This is going to be a prism glass so it has a nice pretty design on there uh, but the, one of my favorite parts, not only does it have a magnetic latch for keeping it shut here and a very easy to use travel lock and when you open the doors up all the water is going to stay in the shower pan because of the way it rolls open. Nice thing about that, you don't have to worry about shower or water getting all over your floor when you open up the door. Just keeps the bathroom a lot cleaner. If you take a look inside the shower, you can see plenty of shelving space there. Uh, your hand wand is gonna be chrome, so it kind of gives it a nice appeal. And up top, you have a nice big skylight, letting in a lot of natural light, as well as giving you additional headroom. Uh, you do have a vent right above here as well, and it has an AC vent as well as a heat vent too. So that way, you know, no matter what season it is, you're going to be comfortable. Now maybe you're thinking, well, where am I gonna put my towels? No problem, you're gonna be covered. Right here is the slide in the bedroom, but part of this is gonna be sectioned off for the bathroom. So plenty of space here for all your towels, just makes a great linen closet. All right, speaking of the bedroom, let's head on in and take a look at that. 60 by 80 residential queen size bed in the bedroom is wonderful, especially if you're a taller person, you don't have to worry about your feet hanging off. And take a look at this, ample storage underneath, you can see right there you have two additional folding chairs, so if you need to pop that leaf out and you have guests, you can certainly do that. This is on strut, so it's easy to lift up as well as drop back down. Now right over here, I mentioned about the linen closet, how there was a slide out. Take a look, you can open this up. Huge wardrobe space right here, plenty of hanging space, which is great. Not only do you have this big wardrobe, but you also have additional hanging space over to the side, and that's gonna go all the way down to the floor. So if you have longer items, like a long jacket or a dress, you can put it in there. Uh, excellent lighting throughout, LED lights here. You have speakers in the bedroom. Uh, it is going to be prepped for a second AC. You have a vent there, but if you want a second AC installed, you can do that. 
that. On the other side of the bed, you have excellent shelving space, two full extension drawers there, a charging center with 12 volt and two USB ports, as well as your standard 120 plug-in. The reason I like that, not only can you charge your electronic devices, but also if you have a CPAP machine, there's plenty of room for you to put it there. All right, folks, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Winnebago Voyage 28 SGS. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions about the specs of the unit, or you wanna see available inventory, I strongly encourage you to visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, and you'll find everything you're looking for. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.